Dames en heren, ik stel u heel graag voor aan de eerste speler. Uit Deventer, Nederland. Winnaar van de Belgium Open in 2017. Dames en heren, Dirk Telmeke. En nu, dames en heren, het nummer 29 van de wereld uit Merksem, België. Tweevoudig winnaar in de PDC World Youth Championships. En meervoudig winnaar in de PDC Development Tour. Dames en heren, de Dreammaker Dancing, Dimitri van den Berg. Well, a big moment for the young man Dimitri Vandenberg, a two-time world youth champion, playing for the first time on the European tour in his home country and playing as the number one in his home country as well. The dream maker, a young man who has incredible potential, incredible ability. We've seen it. We've seen him produce it in the biggest stage of all. And yet is so frustratingly inconsistent on the Pro Tour that he hasn't had as many opportunities on the big stages as he would have liked. Things have started to improve for him over the last 18 months or so. He has made ranking finals in floor events, but it is not consistent enough. There is still progress to be made for Dimitri Vandenberg if he is going to achieve, realize his potential. And turn his career, which has those two standout World Youth Championship titles, into one that could include much, much bigger titles. What a way to start! Final game of the night. It is the Belgian number one, Dimitri Vandenberg, against the Dutchman Dirk Telnikers with his shiny gold darts. And Rob Malarkey is in the box for Three wins, two defeats for the Belgians so far today. Vandenberg, an overwhelming favourite to make it 4 2, but. Let's just wait and see before we get too carried away. I'm looking forward to see what uh, oh, Telmekes can oh, offer this evening. On the tour card, or a tour card holder, on the Pro Tour now. Oh, After his success at European Q School. He's jacked in the day job now, Dan. Do you know what the day job was? I don't. He was a designer of bathroom mirrors. Now, whether that, <laughs> whether that precludes you from designing any other sort of mirror, if you just focus on bathroom, that hey, is. So if I went, listen, Dirk, I fancy it. I want a mirror from your hallway. He'd spit in my face and tell me to get I, out. I'm not your man. Yeah. It's for your bathroom. Um, now, of course, Simon Stevenson is Dart's mirror man. Uh, yeah, he, so he couldn't really use that nickname. Yeah. Um, he only does them on yachts, though, and boats. Again, you want to, if you want a land-based mirror, 
Stevenson is, is going to tell you to get out. Yeah. Anyway, he's jacked in the day job because he wants to focus fully on Jack his... Jack that uh, in, Malarkey. Bullseye. Oh, oh, oh and me. 28. I knew it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> uh, well, Telnikes, great start. 39 away. Vandenberg on 180. One hundred and forty. Oh, tops left after twelve. Pressure. Oh, Sully! Oh. How has he done that? Well. He's left himself a checkout after nine darts. He's missed the ball by a mile for a twelve darter, and then immediately busts his score with his very next dart. And Dimitri Vandenberg to take advantage and delight this crowd in Hasselt. Working his way in. No oh, score. no. Dirk Uruguay, now, 39. Good. Stay well away from that troll. Maybe he'll go for a single seven instead. Yes, he has. 23. Dimitri Uruguay, Same outcome. Wow, no joy. He's missed three darts at double in this leg, but he should have had twice that number. Can we be clear? When he was hitting the treble 19, was he going for a single 19 or a single seven? Or do you, can you not tell? Uh, look, I think he's going for the 7 or 19. 16. They're both lead good shots. I think he's hedging his bets. And right. by hedging his bets, he's, he's made the messed error. it up. No score. Uh, he's he's bust twice in the very <laughs> first leg. What a Euro Tour debut this is. This is spectacular from Dirk Telnikes for all the wrong reasons. It's too much, Dirk. It's only a leg of 501. Dimitri cannot believe his look. Double four for the opening leg. Yes. Um, uh, a bizarre Rundle. leg of darts you will not see, certainly on the European yeah. Tour this year. Well, certainly not tonight, I don't think. I mean, unless this game is going to be an absolute wonder to round off the evening. Dirk Telnikis busts 39, first dart, busts 32, busts 16, sorry, first dart. 86. That happens as well. 120 by a bounce out. He's looked a very well thrown dart. Telnikas does have experience of winning titles in Belgium and beating big name players along the way. He won the Belgium Open a couple of years ago. Beat Kenny Nayans in the final. As well as Ross the Boss Montgomery. First few matches, or first few tournaments in the PDC since getting his tour card, Telnik is. It's no, been is it? an underwhelming start, but it's been underwhelming from Dimitri Vandenberg as well. I mean, well, yeah. in the top 64 in the averages list, he's had one good run in the last 16. He was playing very well that day, very solid, but he ran into an inspired Devin Peterson. But there's not been much else to shout about, to be honest. You could say the same for much of last year as well. I mean, he had. Almost half of his Pro Tour events ended in a first round defeat. I mean, obviously, you know, it didn't really. Well, he made up for it, didn't he, by making the quarterfinals of the World Championship towards the end of the year. But on the, you know, the day in day out, the bread and butter of the Pro no, Tour it was more miss than hit for Dimitri Vandenberg. His hits were good, didn't he? I mean, he made he made final, he made hmm. semi, a couple of you know quarter final. I mean, he, he had one weekend where he made it a quarter and a semi, and you started thinking, oh, this is this is the Maturing of Dimitri Vandenberg, the growing into an elite level player. Yeah, that all happened in the space of a few weeks as well, and that defeat by Rutajski really. 25. You know, Dimitri that could have gone either way. It was 8 7 in the end. Plenty of room for it. So oh, plenty of room up there, but that's Dimitri not where you want to throw it. 36. Two tall 20s and a. Trouble 19 there for Telnick. Well, <laughs> let's see where he goes. 120. to score this time. Yeah. That would have been even more spectacular to bust 136. But I've just no idea what to expect. Yeah, on the second leg, Dimitri Vandenberg. Third leg is to it's safe to say first. that you can expect a pretty decent reception for every leg that Dimitri wins. The other curious oh, thing about Vandenberg last season as well was that he 
only once went beyond the second round on the Euro Tour as well, but it was that consistency in getting to the second round that earned him ultimately a place in the European Championship. 15 grand on the European Order of Merit. Oh. Uh, he qualified for three of the last four, and given his knack of coming through his opening match, it was enough to secure him place in the, in the European Championship. Yeah, and, oh. and that is worth noting because we've already discussed today about how last year it was very difficult for European Tour card holders to qualify for the Euro Tour. There were only six spots available and a very, very competitive qualifier, and yet Dimitri kept on finding ways to uh, get he through. So that, for that, he should be massively lauded. And that's the weird thing. He was doing that pretty consistently. But then you get to the, some of the other Pro Tour events, and as you say, half of the time it was round one, two, Lou. Yep. He is a player who's moved into the top 32 for the first time in his career over the last year. And we have seen him. I mean, he's got such talent 100 Kim Hybrex Jermaine Watermaina from the same management stable Kim sitting prettily already in round two quite Certainly happy is. with his night's work 145 Dirk Uguire 68 now Talnikers to get a leg on the board mm. he's making it so hard for himself well, he's oh, got wow the, he's got the 25 he's tied it up beautifully but some way south of that double 20 bed and Vandenberg now looking at 41. Nine for double 16. Inside for double eight for 3 0. 33. Lovely inside as well. Dirk Uruguay 20. Don't hit double 15 and bust. That's what you need to do. And Dirk Taunikas has a first leg in Euro Tour darts. It's only a hold of throw. It's one that, well, was severely under threat. But he's in this game. Yeah, two on down, but perhaps really he should be two on up, given the travails of the opening leg. But let's hope he's put that well and truly behind him. Yeah, two young players on stage here, 25 years old, Dimitri Vandenberg against the 24-year-old Dirk Telnekes, father of two already, by the way, at the age of 24. 96. Forty-five. I've just seen a, a nightmarish year at all debut for Jeffrey Van Egden. Dirk Tonic is he's not going to suffer a wide Six, loss, but he, you can tell he's struggling. He's not playing to the standards we know he is capable of doing. And is, he's not, you know, I'd say he's not set the world alight, but he's been competitive so far in his pro tour events. All his averages have been sort of mid 80s to uh, even high 90s, or that was a losing one to another superb ton plus average from Gabriel Clemens. But beating the likes of Jeffrey Desvarn, Martin Schindler. Yep. I don't give away those victories. 26. But look at that, it's 64. And unless he can just have a sustained spell, just three or four visits back to back where he can just keep them tidy, keep them straight, pick up a treble each visit, ton, ton, three ton, it would just make him feel like he's settled in, in this game, but every time he does something good, it's followed by something bad. This looks good, very good indeed. Timely. But it may count for very little in the end as far as this leg is concerned. Vandenberg on 106. Can't find the triple 18 that would have left the double 60. That, that one one very, very good. 92. What route is it? Is it the ball? No, he's gone aggressive. Nothing wrong with that. And he didn't go aggressive enough at the double double finish because that is a good inch away from where he needs to be. If you're going to go that route, you go that route because you have to hit it. So go for it. But he's offered up yeah, another chance. Dimitri Vandenberg, he's got this entire crowd willing him on to put on a show here. And he's not. Yeah, he's on the ball and leg. he's been taken back to two all. His leg is jerked to throw and first. Listen to the complete 
apathy that that is greeted with by this Hassel crowd. Mm. No wonder. Game on. Well, Tunlickers, I think, will feel that a sense of justice has been restored here, given what happened in the first leg. And I think he's, you know, he's given himself that opportunity now. He's, he's, he can put that well and truly behind him. I think that might just have been eating away at him a little bit, but I think he can just put that to one side now and just build from this and just treat this as a effectively a first to four match now. Looking to just reassert his authority with a 180. One apiece now in the 180s counts. 57. Now, follow it up, Dimitri. He's in the same position as Teodikas. He just needs to put some solid visits together. Yes, solid. Rock solid. Yes, Dimitri. What a way to kickstart your challenge in this one. It's been turgid so far. But the dream maker might be about to make dreams come true for this Belgian crowd in the inaugural Belgian Darts Championship. Oh, not this time. Well, we've had 12 perfect darts on the BBC circuit this year. That would have been the 13th. Vanderberg. Potentially an 11 dart break of throw here for a 3 2 lead. Just to settle him down and that's perhaps the more valuable thing double 18 does like this double 18 wow he's going around the board trying to find something upon which he feels comfortable and he's still searching at the minute 60 36 he's going to split this yeah yeah, it's on the fifth leg, Dimitri Van Lundberg. A sigh of relief it's from it's the Dimitri celebration. Yeah. Yeah. Game on. But the Belgian fans taking a lot of joy from that one. And again, Patelnik has having worked so hard to get back on terms at two apiece. He finds himself chasing the game once again. He's got the crowd on his back as well. One hundred. Yeah, and again, Dimitri just <laughs> didn't look too happy there with his output. Ninety six. Well, he established that two-leg lead at first and was pegged back. So he can establish oh, another two-leg lead here. Oh, 125. Is there still loose stuff from Tony? Because you feel like it's tightening up. Is it tightening up enough? 100. 96. Dimitri Rigua, 104. Now, what's the route? 418s for 32. Not quite. 96. Gets the next Dirk best try. Telnikers. Needs 54. Needs the ball. 99. Not a bad effort. For it. There have been a lot of missed doubles in this game. He may return. Yeah, uh, Tony will not return. Vandenberg. Daylight again. His 2 0 lead was wiped out. He has a 4 2 cushion now. And the Belgian fans just sitting a little bit easier in their seats or standing in the aisles a little bit more comfortable now. Jamie Hughes, Yozza, the man that awaits the winner. Yeah, one of the first time winners on the European Tour last year, taking the honours in Prague in 53 degrees Celsius temperatures in the height of summer. Yeah. A bit warm. 
cooler here at the Etihad tonight. Well, Jackie liked it, but Dirk Telnicker still holds the advantage in this leg. And it looks like a must win leg for him. If he's 5 2 down, I think that's probably it. He's still looking good for this one, or he was. Probably needed to be the maximum there. 104 there. They're giving 152. Yeah, gets him down to a ton 40. 152. There's the first. 128. The meet you, 140. Lovely bit of approach play, though, by Telnikas. Gets himself down to double 12. Has that just snuck in? No. Nope. No. Nope. 40. Right, there's that. They're giving 24. Double six to keep in touch. Twelve. And there have been some the misses by a distance in this one. And there's a couple there that weren't particularly close. Dimitri Vandenberg could, should have been closer. Doesn't matter. Two darts for 5-2. Yeah, that might be game five. over. And Dimitri it's the biggest Vandenberg. celebration we've seen from Dimitri. Because he knows to throw first. it could be a hammer blow. Game on. Yeah, look at celebration, but there was a tinge of relief about it as well. And Telnikes looks like a man who knows perhaps that the game is almost up here. But understandable relief. He's hitting fewer than one in four of his six. darts at double. Telnikes is hitting what one in six of his darts at double. If any of them actually find the double, it's more of a surprise than one hundred. Anything else in this match? Yeah, I mean, we saw Steve Westwood with a, an average of 78 just a few mi minutes ago, and now Van der Berg may well be on course with an average of around about the 85 mark. But 60. big occasion, as he said at the start, for Van der Berg coming into this tournament as the Belgian number one, playing in front of his home crowd on a Euro stage for the first time. This is exactly what Mensur oh, goes through when he goes to Austria. Yeah, we've seen it. it it's seemingly been a factor in Mensur not playing his best in Vienna in previous years. Obviously, he won the title there last year. And but it, it took him a while to yeah, get going, yeah. Exactly. And uh, uh, made a mistake. Hey. Vandenberg is played on the biggest stage of all, but and he's done well on the biggest stage of all, but this is a, it's a very different environment, and there is a lot of pressure on his shoulders this evening. Well, I mean, yeah, he's been here day. for hours and hours and hours, Dimmy. He's probably said hello to everybody in this venue about four times. That's right. He's had to wait around all afternoon, or all evening, I should say. He's been... It's been on his mind all day since the moment he woke up. And I think it's Sick. all about just coming through this. Yeah, and uh, getting his name into the second round draw where he will face Jamie Hughes, as you say. Tell my kiss. 82. Oh, the crowd trying to urge him over the line. This does ask a question of Telnikas if he can find another treble. He doesn't. Eight. And so yeah, the question 40. is not quite as forcefully put. Yeah, on the eighth leg, Dirk Telnikas. No problem for once on the double. Leg is no. to throw first. Game and break of throw as well. Well, stranger things have happened on the European tour. Well, there's oh, nothing in the average at all between these two. There has been so, so little. Dimitri Vandenberg has had more opportunities at the double, but he has been equally profligate when the opportunities have arisen. 96. And I don't know, maybe somebody can sprint for the line or maybe just somebody falls over it. Yes. But the concern for Vandenberg is 76. the longer this match goes on, the longer he's detained on stage, the more likely that the, the edginess will return. I think he would relish a break of throw here. I don't think he'll want the pressure of throwing for the or throwing first in the next leg. You only have one chance to throw, serve, you know, serve out the match. Yeah. And that yeah, might prove that telling. There's, there's the odd dart from Telnik is where it does you know, a bit of extra venom and he loses his form a little. Not like Dimmy there. Look at that. Well, 100. A good looking ton, that. Mm. 19s, I suspect, here for Telnik is, yep. 
And it's been a game dominated by breaks of throw. We've had five of them, only three holes of throw. It could be another break in coming here, and that would end the game because Dimitri Vandenberg should leave himself beautifully placed. And Ooh. does do. That is a perfect setup shot to leave. Double 14 for the match. Telnikes must reel in the big fish and will not. So the Belgian number one in the inaugural Belgium Darts Championship looks to book his place in round two, and it's double 14 the target. Yes, a timely 177 setting up the opportunity for the double 14 from Dimitri Vandenberg and Belgium's number one, Belgium's main hope this weekend safely through to the second round at the expense of Dirk Telnikes. By far from vintage Dimitri Vandenberg, the average certainly has a lot of room for improvement and he mops his brow as he collects his darts and his belongings at the end of the stage because he knows that he was far from convincing. But a win is a win for Dimitri Vandenberg. He acknowledges the crowd safely through Telnikes. An interesting first match on the European Tour stage for him, an eventful one to say the least but it culminates in a 6-3 defeat, and it's Vandenberg who goes through to face Jamie Hughes in the second round tomorrow. Dimitri, gefeliciteerd met je overwinning. Wat is het overheersende gevoel? De beste fans die ik ooit gehad heb. <laughs> Dames en heren, hoort u dat? De beste fans die u ooit gehad heeft. Hoi! Dank u, dank u, dank u allemaal. Zo, zo. En morgen uh, Jamie Hughes, uh, wat verwacht je? Ja, het maakt niet uit tegen wie ik moet spelen. Ik moet altijd aan mezelf denken. Ik moet zelf me voorbereiden, mijn eigen spel spelen. Ik heb het gevoel gehad dat ik vandaag een beetje geluk had. Maar ook misschien gewoon dankzij alle. Daarom kon ik gewoon volgens mij niet creëren, dus merci. Maar ja, morgen nieuwe dag, nieuwe kansen. En uh, ja, ik ga terug mijn best doen. Voilà, nieuwe dag, nieuwe kansen, maar hopelijk dezelfde supporters. Dames en heren, wie is er morgen hier? Voor Dimitri van den Berg. Schitterend, dankjewel. Dankjewel, Dimitri. Heel fijne avond nog. En heel veel succes morgen, maar ik zie u nog. Dames en heren, zo hebben we een fantastische dag gehad hier in Hasselt. Met ongelooflijke wedstrijden, met winst van de Belgen. Dat, dat zien we natuurlijk heel graag gebeuren.